Hello, Namaste and good morning everyone. Uh, today uh, we are with uh, Mr. Zoe Postoraris, uh, who is the executive principal of the Buddhist College. And uh, especially we invited Mr. Zoe uh, in Chiton. Uh, he is originally from US and after the education in China, uh, USA and British. Uh, now he is uh, serving as the executive principal at the British College. And uh, I would like to introduce him as an uh, educator and uh, conservation scientist and a researcher and motivational speaker as well. And today I would like to welcome uh, in the Chitown district uh, Mr. Joy. We are going to discuss about the education system in Nepal and other countries and what are the challenges in Nepal. And thank you, Mr. Joy. And Th thank you, thank you for inviting me. I, I'm, I'm, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, thank you so much. And then, what you are getting? Uh, how are you feeling in Chitwan? Is this your first visit to Chitwan? Yes, this is my first visit to Chitwan. Yes, I spent way too much time in Kathmandu Valley, and I need to get out. Yeah. And Chitwan is a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place, natural as well. Yes, and has yeah. incredible potential. You are conviction scientist as well, so that I think you love to the natural resource as well. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yes. And today, actually, we are going to discuss about the uh, education system, uh, especially because you are from the British College as well as an uh, executive uh, principal. Uh, actually, uh, may I know, Joy, uh, why you choose uh, Nepal to shop uh, in the education sector rather uh, than other countries? Rather than other countries? Yeah. Why one of the smallest countries? Um, because I've 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 gone through many education systems. I, I grew up in the U.S. Um, and then uh, at a very uh, young age, uh, uh, my teacher uh, in college uh, told me, "Joe E, your Chinese is too good. Your Chinese is still very good." And which was I was at art school at the time, and uh, basically my teacher was like, "Wow, Joey, your Chinese has gotten so good, but your sculpture still sucks." And through that, I was learning about another language, another culture. And I realized that um, learning in the classroom doesn't just happen in the classroom. It also happens outside the classroom. So when I was in America, I was taught how to think. Um, when I was in China, I was taught how to make. And then after living in China for such a long time and kind of changing my identity and um, speaking in a whole other language, um, I ended up going to the UK and doing my master's in conservation science. And it was uh, in mostly relation to cultural heritage and understanding and um, conserving um, different cultures in different places. And getting into education, um, I came to Nepal to actually build an animation studio. And after many, many years, of building this studio and when I first got here actually I was put on the board of the United States Education Fund Fulbright um, incredible foundation uh, that gives scholarships to kids uh, both in Nepal and outside and I will say that the reason why I stayed here is that I think Nepal is probably the hardest place to work in the world and uh, the challenge uh, I had to unlearn I had to unlearn so much and I think there's something fascinating about the unlearning process. And why I say that Nepal is, was probably one of the hardest places, or is the hardest place to work, is in a beautiful way. Because here to incentivate people, it's not so much about giving more money or um, in the workplace or um, um, making them rise up the corporate ladder. Uh, it's more, this country is more focused on human values, on friendship, on, on, on family, and how you're seen in the community. And that is something that's very rare. And so I stayed here trying to understand that. And to get into education, I realized after working in the corporate sector for so long, um, that, you know, that it all ended up coming from, it comes from the bottom up. Education comes from the bottom up. And, but then I also realized at one point that education comes from the top down. Yeah. So we have to educate both our students and our parents. Uh, thank you. 
And you have been exposed to uh, different countries' education system like in British and uh, US and China. Um, actually, how you are getting different education uh, in those countries and in Nepal? Do you have, do you, did you get any specific uh, that? Yeah, well, I think what I realized is that uh, no country has it right. Okay, and a global education is what we truly need. And it's one of the things that I, I truly preach at the British College is that, yes, we offer UK degrees, uh, but the degrees themselves are based on uh, data and science that is, is global. And like I was mentioning earlier, you know, uh, in, in American education systems, I would say that they hold your hand way too much. You end up leaving college and you don't know what to do because the teacher has, doesn't have a project for you to do. Then when I went to China, I, uh, I asked my teacher what to do and he said, just do whatever you want. And I was like, what? Like, how can I, you know, I had to think. I had to really question what I wanted to do. And so I learned more about making in China and America taught me how to think and then but then going to the UK and, and this is why I stress uh, British education is that the UK taught me how to learn and when we're going into a future where we do not know what jobs are going to exist in five years from now you need to learn how to learn yeah and by the way uh, most of the cases students are giving the reason that uh, in Nepal there is only theoretical education and we need the practical education system then uh, how you clarify that uh, the education system are something different in the, the British college and uh, could you give me the reason? Yeah, I, mean, I think, okay, I'm not going to say that, um, for example, we offer uh, A-levels yes. and in most of Nepal it's plus two. I'm not going to say that one is better than the other, but what I will say is that in A-levels, we teach an approach where you learn where what you're learning fits into the outside world. So you're learning physics, but you learn how it's applied to other subjects and sciences. And so basically what I'm saying is that it's practical. It, 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 it makes you want to understand why you're learning it and how it's going to be applied. And again, it's this methodology of teaching, this methodology of thinking about how to basically, you know, learn how to learn, like what, what I was saying. Uh, so yes, I, I think uh, the British College teaches that, and I think that's what this country needs. Uh, and is it a challenge? Yes. Yeah, I feel that this is a, a great opportunity for the Nepalese students. Uh, they, are, they are getting such a personality in the British College. And we can share the experience and knowledge from you from the different culture and education system. And actually, uh, what is your suggestion uh, for the students uh, for outgoing for abroad studies? Well, the, my main suggestion is to come back. Yeah. Okay, yeah. like I, I'm. There is no way that any country is going to give you every single thing you need. Yeah. Um, so, and I do think an outside perspective is a great perspective, yeah. but. This country has so much potential, and it's already showing that potential. So my main suggestion is definitely come back and take your ideas that you learned from the outside, be that outsider, and then come back and create jobs here. What we do at the British College is we not only try to create job seekers, but we try to create job creators. And I think it's that on entrepreneurial spirit that and that creative thinking is what we need to stress. And how do you make a sure for the Nepalese students uh, that uh, you uh, from the British College providing such a uh, education uh, that they can get an education like the British degree uh, even they are staying in Nepal and then is this such a quality and standard in the British College? Yeah, I, I think that's actually what's great about the British College is that we offer you know British degrees. Uh, and so actually when you get your diploma it, it doesn't say that where you study it it just says that you got a British education and uh, because of that uh, you can one it helps you in getting jobs in this country and of course what are we trying to do in any college we're trying to make our, our kids employable and therefore I think with our students <sighs> 
yes, they are studying within this country, but the teachers that we have are incredible. They're, they're giving them still outside, like the same education that they're getting in the UK, they're getting here for such a smaller cost. Why go to a country, an outside country, and get completely in debt? Um, why not stay here? Learn from, you know, the education system that we're providing, but also understand um, what's happening around you. I, I, I'll, I'll say this, one more other thing, uh, is that I actually think students here have way more potential than, and opportunity than students that have been brought up in the West. And I say that in, in the terms of like, nowadays we have internet, we have access to um, every single thing that a kid could get anywhere else in the world. So, and I find that, you know, students here, you know, can dance to Beyonce way better than any other kid in America could. Because they've taken the internet and they've absorbed it as a way. But they also see um, the hard things of life as well, the disparity of wealth. Uh, and that is something that Western kids do not have. They don't, have, they're, they're too, too sheltered. So here we get to see what's like, you know, uh, real life and and then I teach the other aspects as well for you to understand that. Uh, it means uh, can they uh, get worldwide opportunity if they graduated from the British College somehow Nepalese students are not getting that opportunity because of the education of Nepal then what is the difference than the British College degree and then other colleges? Of, of course uh, I, I think I think kids here have such an amazing opportunity I tell I, I, in the global marketplace today, what you have to be is an individual to succeed. And so you are an individual here. You're different than um, everyone else in the world. And I, I tell this to my friends in America too. I'm like, find who you are, your own narrative, create that story. And that is what sells you. Of course, learn the facts, learn, learn the knowledge. Um, and the British College does that. We create individuals. We create people that have independent thought. And when they go into the workplace after that, the, the employers see that. And stressing again, this idea of learning how to learn is so important. Because when you're going into a workplace, you're not going to be 100% qualified for a job. You're never 100% qualified for a job. So you're going to have to learn there. And if you have those practical skills of finding research, finding the information, uh, knowing what to do with it, and then turning it into the own way you digest information and and actually practically apply it. I think the British College offers that. I, w I don't want to be a traveling education salesman and just sell my school. Uh, I think our school is a great program. I would not travel thousands of miles to a country and work for a school that I didn't fully believe in. So I think the British College does a great great education and we have great teachers. Okay, Mr. Zui, yeah. thank you so much uh, for your effort uh, to progress the quality uh, and the education system of Nepal. Thank you so much for your experience from China, British and US that you are sharing in Nepal since 2014. Yes. Uh, hope that uh, we can support you and the British College as well. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your... Well, thank you, thank rewards. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting me. And I'm, uh, anyway, I would like to inform you, everyone, that uh, we are giving uh, the information from the Honors Education International, uh, which is behind of Neville Bank. Uh, and uh, you can get uh, more information locally here in Chiton uh, as the British College Information Center, Honors Education International. Thank you so much, everyone. And thank you, Jay, once more. Thank, thank you. you. Pleasure.